Okay, I think we are ready to add some details for the eyes. So let's select these edges here, these five edges. And once you're done, pick connect. And again, we have the triangles and five sided polys. So using the same technique, what we've been doing, turning on the snap, insert vertex and putting some new vertices on these new edges let's turn off the snap go back to the vertex mode select these guys and connect them do the same thing here um, i do want to mention something uh, when you right click and see the quad menu all the four quadrants the last action you picked is highlighted in blue color. Uh, so if you notice that the connect feature is in blue and if I want to repeat that action I don't need to come and you know scroll all the way here and hit on the connect button. I can simply click on this title or or this part here you know for the quad and it's kind of a short short way to do this and reduce your mouse movement and uh, if I do that it's gonna repeat that action and connect these vertices so just something to make your workflow a little faster so we're gonna do the same thing here connect and connect and then we are going to move these vertices, constraining them to the edges, uh, trying to give this a shape. Now, this is where things are going to get a little complicated. And the more time you're going to spend, the better results you're going to get. And uh, my idea of doing these videos uh, is to just show you the technique and then it's up to you how much time you want to spend on the model uh, so I'm not gonna try to you know make it a perfect shape uh, but just show you how we can add more details and uh, you know work from there so we got some something going on here um, maybe we can throw in some extra edge loops and uh, add some more details go back to the edge mode select these edges and connect them do the same thing here connect and start moving these vertices a little bit I'm gonna bring these guys close to this middle vertex so this way we have some extra uh, details to work with uh, which could be useful um, See, I could literally spend, uh, you know, a lot of time here trying to make it a perfect shape, but I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, modeling is is fun, and when you when you are into it, you know, you just forget that you are recording the video for the YouTube. So I'm just going to leave it, you know, uh, where it is right now, and um, jump to the next. Um, next part uh, what we are gonna do is go to our uh, polygon mode select these polygons and this is only after you have the proper uh, shape for the eyes uh, you select these guys and um, pick the setting option for the extrude and again when you do that the default extrusion amount or the extrusion height is 10 um, 
which is not the right one for this you can either type in zero hit enter or you can right click on these spinners that's gonna change the value to zero and then we're gonna go to something like negative 0 0.45 the magical number and once we have that instead of clicking OK we need to do one more extrusion so we're gonna say apply and when you click on apply it repeats uh, the last extrusion here but in this case we're gonna go uh, a lot more than 0 0.45 and then we're gonna say okay all right this is looking good so far and I'm gonna get out of the edge constraint mode by hitting the D keyboard shortcut and then move these guys left a little bit so they are kind of aligned to to the exterior edges okay now at this point you can actually create the eyeballs put them in here and then start shaping these uh, vertices accordingly um, to do that here, here's a here's a tip um, when you're creating the eyeballs say you're picking the spheres turn on the auto grid option and then you know going in here click on any of these polygons click and drag and it's gonna create the sphere right where you need it and then all you need to do is uh, position position this in the right right place instead of creating it all the way like in the grid or some other place and then moving it around manually this is probably a quick way to do it once you have it shift and clone it for the next eye make a copy and the next you're going to do is, you know, start moving these vertices around and try to fit fit this around the sphere. So, okay, there you go. Um, I'll see you next time.